If you look at the bottom of the ECG readout, you will see a long run of recording from lead two. This is called the rhythm strip. We use the rhythm strip to calculate the heart rate and to diagnose abnormal cardiac rhythms. Lead 2 is used as the rhythm strip as it is usually the easiest lead in which to see P waves and, as we will see in subsequent sections, identification and analysis of P waves plays a key role in the diagnosis of rhythm disturbances on the ECG. For now, let's deal with the calculation of heart rate. ECG recording paper is divided into large squares 5 mm wide and these large squares are in turn further subdivided into small squares each of 1 mm in width. For our present purposes we can consider that in all ECG machines the recording needles run at a constant speed over the ECG paper of 25 mm per second. If you think about it, you will realise that this means that distance on the ECG paper equates to time. At a recording rate of 25 mm per second, five large squares are covered in one second. So, 300 large squares represents one minute. Therefore, the number of R waves in 300 large squares is the heart rate in beats per minute. Look at the rhythm strip on this ECG. There is one R wave present to every five large squares. So, in 300 large squares, there will be 60 R waves present. This patient's heart rate is therefore 60 beats per minute. Generalizing, we've found a simple method for calculating heart rate from an ECG. Identify two R waves on the rhythm strip, count the number of large squares between them, then take this number and divide it into 300. Provided the heart rhythm is regular, this method gives you an accurate heart rate in beats per minute. You will also appreciate that as 300 large squares equates to one minute, and as there are five small squares in each large square, 1500 small squares also equates to one minute. Using exactly the same logic as before, therefore we can also calculate the heart rate by counting the number of small squares between two consecutive OR waves and dividing this number into 1500. This is useful when, as illustrated on this ECG, the OR waves do not fall on a set number of large squares. In some cardiac arrhythmias, which we will discuss later, the heartbeat is not regular. And in fact, in many normal hearts, as illustrated here, the heart rate is somewhat irregular due to a phenomenon termed sinus arrhythmia. You will remember from physiology that this is a completely normal variant, with the heart rate slowing during expiration and speeding up during inspiration. We cannot use the RR interval technique to calculate heart rate in this case, as the RR interval varies. When calculating the heart rate from an ECG in the presence of an irregular rhythm, count out 30 large squares. Now, remembering that 5 large squares equates to 1 second, 30 large squares corresponds to 6 seconds. Count the number of OR waves in these 30 squares. In this case there are 7. 7 beats in 6 seconds gives a heart rate of 70 beats per minute.